Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. James J. Hill. As a railroad mogul in the late 19th century, James J. Hill was instrumental in the expansion of railroads in the northwest of America. In 1866, James J. Hill, a railroad executive who had grown up in poverty, established his own business. The Great Northern Railway Company, under his leadership, built up a massive rail network in the Pacific Northwest. Even though he was accused of breaking antitrust rules, Hill went on to purchase more businesses. Early Years It is believed that Hill was born on September 16, 1838, in the area that is today known as Guelph, Ontario. He was the son of a farmer. Hill's father worked as a hired hand on farms, but he was fortunate to attend Rockwood Academy, where the headmaster waived the tuition, where he received an excellent education. Hill had to drop out of school at the age of 14 since his father had died and his mother was running it in. With the help of Rev. William Wet Harold, who taught him mathematics and English, Hill found work as a grocer while continuing his education. A strong grasp of mathematics and geometry would prove useful in his future endeavors. Hill traveled to the United States at the age of 17 to pursue his dream of becoming an animal trapper and fur trader. St. Paul, Minnesota, was where he settled after working as a clerk in Kentucky where he studied bookkeeping. The Civil War was a no-go for him because he had lost his right eye in a boyhood archery accident yet he helped organize the Volunteer Corps in Minnesota. In addition, he worked as a bookkeeper and freight handler for other companies, including the St. Paul and Pacific Railroad. In 1867, he married Mary Teresa Mahegan and they had ten children, all of whom survived. Being a billionaire, Hill was able to take advantage of possibilities and use the information he'd gained from his previous companies to his current position. During the war, he substituted coal for wood because of a lack of fuel. By shipping by rail instead of steamship while the Mississippi River was frozen, he secured lucrative contracts with grocers. As a result of the war, Hill saw that the Northwest was ripe for rail expansion, and he was anxious to satisfy its demands in order to benefit the entire region and its neighboring territories. To save the failing St. Paul and Pacific Railroad, Hill and his partners founded the St. Paul, Minnesota and Manitoba Railway Company in 1879. A few years later, he was promoted to the position of president of the company and his visionary leadership gained him a solid reputation. In spite of all this, Hill's folly was dubbed the name of his idea to extend the railroad all the way to the Pacific Ocean. However, Hill's land surveys discovered the Maria's Pass, the lowest crossing of the Rockies in the area, and the railroad was built without the need for a tunnel because of its cost efficiency. When he established the Great Northern Railway Company in Washington, he achieved a similar feat. Hill teamed up with J.P. Morgan to acquire the Northern Pacific in the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroads when he faced competition from E. H. Harriman's Union Pacific Railway. In 1901, a stock market crisis triggered by the rivalry led to a merger between the two companies, but the agreement was broken a few years later by President Theodore Roosevelt in the Sherman Antitrust Act. However, he continued to work every day until a week before his death, even after he had passed the company along to his son in 1907. To be or not to be? As a result of Hill's $10 transportation policy, Many Scandinavian immigrants had settled in the Pacific Northwest, contributing to the area's settlement and economic development. The governor of Minnesota referred to him as the greatest constructive genius of the Northwest because of his reputation for high standards and hard effort. In order to get a sense of Hill's taste in art, visit the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. In 1921, the James J. Hill Reference Library, a project he started in 1887, has been assisting potential entrepreneurs develop a business strategy for more than a century. As it happened, Hill passed away on May 29, 1916, at the age of 63 in St. Paul, Minnesota. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.